No Serenity Here, a poem by Gilrabit Khositil. An omelet cannot be unscrambled, not even the one prepared in the crucible of 19th century sordid European design. When Europe cut up this continent into little pockets of its imperialist want and greed, it was not for aesthetic reasons nor was it in the service of any African interest, intent, or purpose. When then did the brutality of imperialist appetite and aggression evolve into something of such ominous value to us that we torture, mutilate, butcher in ways hideous beyond the imagination, rape women, men, even children and infants, for having woken up on what we now claim with perverse possessiveness and territorial chauvinism to be our side of the boundary, that until only yesterday, arrogantly defined where a piece of one European property ended and another began. In my language, there is no word for citizen, which is an ingredient of that 19th century omelette. That word came to us as part of the package that contained the Bible and the rifle. But Moahi, resident, is there, and it has nothing to do with any border or boundary you may or may not have crossed before waking up on the piece of earth where you currently live. Poem I know you are reluctant to sing when there is no joy in your heart. But I have wondered all these years, why you did not or could not give an answer when Langston Hughes, who wondered as he wondered, asked, What happens to a dream deferred? I wonder now why we are somewhere we did not aim to be, like my sister, who could report from anywhere people live. I fear the end of peace, and I wonder if that is perhaps why our memories of struggle refuse to be erased. Our memories of struggle refuse to die. We are not strangers to the end of peace. We have known women widowed without any corpses of husbands because the road to the mines, like the road to any war, is long and littered with casualties. Even those who still walk and talk when Natalie whose young eyes know things, says there is nothing left after wars, only other wars. Wake up whether you are witness or executioner or the victim whose humanity you can never erase. Natalie knows, with clarity, more solid than granite, that no matter which side you are on, any day or any night, an injury to one remains an injury to all. Somewhere on this continent, the voice of the ancients warns that those who shit on the road will meet flies on their way back. So perhaps you should shudder under the weight of nightmares when you consider what thoughts might enter the hearts of our neighbors, what frightened or frightening memories might jump up when they hear a South African accent. Even the sun, embarrassed, withdraws her warmth from this atrocious defiance and unbridled denial of the ties that should bind us here and always. And the night will not own any of the stench of betrayal which has desecrated our national anthem. So do not tell me of Nepal or the AU. Do not tell me of Sadek. And please, do not say shit about Ubuntu or any other neurosis of history. Again, I say, while I still have a voice, remember always, remember that you are what you do, past any saying of it. Our memories of struggle refuse to be erased. Our memories of struggle refuse to die. My mother, my father, fathers of my father, and me. How shall I sing to celebrate life? 
when every space in my heart is surrounded by corpses, whose thousand thundering voices shall I borrow to shout once more, Dar's cock in the land.